had like uh, three or four attempts of entering live, so make us a sign, send us a message if uh, you see me now. So I hope you had a beautiful day and you can put your shoes on so that we can start our practice. Uh, good, so let's start easily to thinking of pushing the base leg and going forward step, right? And stepping with the heel, change the weight and pushing the base leg and extend the free leg to go in the, uh, to change the weight in the back, right? And so we go like forward, backward, forward, backward, thinking of um, resisting, like uh, activating belly muscles, right? And thinking of pushing constantly base leg and delaying uh, free leg for the forward, uh, pushing this that we were saying for the forward, like uh, uh, pressing, resisting, yeah, the, the hips and going and arriving, right, with the, uh, stepping with the heel and arriving with the body over the leg, uh, changing the weight and then pushing, yeah, like pushing base leg and extending, right, so we will go changing the weight on metatarsis, body on the heel and we arrive, so let's go uh, practicing a little bit of this and feel uh, the legs that are free to be free and elastic like bend, stretch and feel the body going uh, in the floor for the base leg, feel the heel that is pushing as well, you are using it, it's pushing in the floor yeah and that you are uh, stretching here creating space when you arrive in the back you're going metatarsis release the free leg bring inside the muscles and arrive with the back on the heel bien cool so uh, let's uh, move on and practice again uh, a little bit of this uh, magnificent uh, rebound um, that we have been practicing before so let's try to uh, focus uh, as ladies how do we go again on the back on the rebound back right that we most do um, to go on the metatarsis and we will bend a little bit we will push during the metatarsis and we will lift a little bit the uh, leg in front uh, we keep it more stretched and we focus on not pulling back with the upper body right so we are not going to go uh, rejecting let's say pulling the partner or rejecting the partner so and we want to do it like uh, usually like quick quick slow right so we are going a little bit down and again up to give it a cadencia as well right so let's do it as well like this and to see as well from in front so let's go like pim pam pam and then we, we can go actually and change and we can do as well with the other one yeah so that we can practice a little bit so feel that you are going like down a little bit and up and you are not uh, you are not lifting uh, or pushing down the hips but it's a it's a let's say um, image that of course that the hips are moving a little bit because it's a, a rebound so let's try to think now uh, how uh, should we give a nice shape that we didn't do for the orcho cortado right because we did a few but there is a nice one and very used that let's say we didn't practice, right? So we go like ping, pam, pam, and here we go on the side and we will touch the, the, the ankles and bring in a cross, right? So we go ping, pam, pam, ping, pam, pam, how I like to say, right? So let's try a couple of times. So we go. Pim, pam, pam, 
pim, pam, pam. So you go and touch, yeah, in the middle, touch the, the ankles, right? So it's like pim, pam, pam, pim, pam, pam, right? And then bring again, change, and pim, pam, pam, pim, pam, pam. Yeah, so of course we will uh, have to do it. Um, uh, turning the hips back to the partner, right? Good. So you can uh, think of this thing that you are going like in this cadencia, yeah? And then we are up here and just touch the, the ankles and uh, bring back the, the turning of the hips. And the free leg comes here like pim, pam, here I'm changing. I am bringing this uh, pivot, yeah? And the leg comes in the in the cross, right? And of course, we change the way then we continue. Good, so now let's um, practice, con let's continue the practice of, um, um, with another exercise of the turn. Um, so let's try to go sidestep first, yeah? Like we are going uh, pushing and going up, yeah? Like normal, natural. We and we are going like to go dissociating, yeah, upper body, and we are going forward, and then we start to think that we are, yeah, uh, taking upper body with the whole like uh, torso, back, arm, and we are going side, and we delay the free leg, as we know, right, that we are going forward already dissociated, and now. I am pushing, bending, and uh, I take hip, knee, foot, and the leg comes with the delay as a consequence um, of the body, right? So, and then we are going forward and turning, so you take back, torso, arm, like it's guiding you, but it's not pushing or pulling, it's just present, it's there, right? Like a whole, uh, like not like a whole, like a, like a complete thing, right? Um, but I mean not to confuse. So, and we are going this and turn side, change the way. Observe the delay of the free leg, right? Observe how I'm not uh, uh, rushing it to turn at once. So this I would like to recommend you, right? And um, really to try to allow this freedom, yes? Of the free leg that the free leg is always let it to be with delay let it behind and allow it to come right after the tour and here is better and we go so let's do a little bit of this and when I arrive uh, to before stepping forward it's like uh, half of here right so we are doing only the front part today the other days we did as well as the backward part, other day we will do. So try to focus on the dissociation and on pivoting and bring the free leg after, right? And we can add as well this a little bit, yeah? Try to let the free leg um, as well to, to go uh, touching up, lifting uh, as a consequence, right? of the tour and go change the weight and continue dissociating and go forward and pump and change the weight and again yeah and keep the upper body like you would always like to embrace right so uh, feel that you are active with the shoulder blades and torso and you are embracing with the back and with the chest, with the torso, and of course you are surrounding with the arms, right? Let's change the direction. So let's try to go uh, forward here and try to start, yeah? And we go. You see the, the, the free leg, right? That is going after with the delay. So we are stable here, stretch inside, and we are taking, yeah? And change the weight. And then again, we continue, right? So here we are. 
and then again so try not to I recommend you try not to um, let's see if I, uh, if I can do it like this so try not to bring and then turn in one piece in one block right because you will not have uh, more balance uh, it's actually uh, a lie you will not have uh, more balance uh, uh, turning yourself like in one pillar, in one piece, but allowing your body to, to have this spiral like upper body first, center, and then uh, the leg. Yeah, it's, uh, it gives you much more balance and much more opportunities. Also, for the leader that your partner will, uh, so in many cases, your partner here will enter a saccada, right? A gancho maybe, yeah, but many cases, yeah, he will enter a saccada. So we are going and we can meet his foot there or his leg, right? For the saccada. So we go as well here, continue the dissociation, yeah, and then, and then again. Yeah, so think, um, you see, think that this part, yeah, from the back and torso and arm are going like to initiate energy for you. So initiate energy and arrive with the body over the leg. Now, observe this, right? And I'm going together, I'm going a little bit to collect, but just for one second and then, yeah. And keep inside here and then here we go. And then you can add, um, right? We can add, for example, here, um, this, the kick, yeah? So we go bending a little bit more, just a little bit more, and the leg comes up, right? Like we studied in the previous classes, go as well to uh, search in the previous, cla previous classes, uh, how we practice, uh, before as well this and I explained them more good so yeah and we can also let's say we can also give it another shape we can bring it forward right uh, a little bit in this case we can bring it forward yeah and like we said like in, in a rouleau and then we push to both sides and then we continue the same dissociation and in this case we want to go bending and bring it and we will bring it just uh, smaller right with the toe on the floor and then we go side and then continue the dissociation yeah like you would want to turn there and you go and then you go down and you bring it yeah and you bring the leg to help you in this case so then, so that you know the difference. I always show you this so that you can see the difference that uh, in one case you delay the leg, in the other case you bring the leg to accompany you to pivot, right? Good, we can change again the direction and we can go forward and we can turn and here as well, yeah, we can bring the leg to help us and we can step side and we can go continue the dissociation go forward yeah feel that you are um, keeping this embrace um, look at, at the idea of these um, um, elbows right that they are not behind I'm not opening uh, my chest over opening right it is open but the ribs are closed right and here like I have the sensation that I embrace as well with the back and that I embrace as well with my, I accompany my embrace with the elbows right which are not going to pull so they are here like in the middle right and then we can go either like this right when uh, the leg is uh, uh, going as a consequence uh, we let it behind right we, we take hip knee foot or remember we can go a little bit down continue the dissociation and bring the leg 
forward, yeah, in this case, and with energy to torque. In this case, we do a smaller rouleau, not like we did uh, the previous days. We do it like more subtle, right? So, more up. Yeah, we go and we bring it smaller and then we can push to step style. And then we go and then we torque and we bring and then we push side. Bien. So, I recommend you to uh, try uh, all these possibilities and to focus on uh, the upper body of the dissociation and of the, you know, of this uh, surrounding of the embrace, not to lose it, not to lose your elbows, not to lose your shoulders too much on the back, not to bring them too much forward, right? Uh, not to uh, over open your, uh, your ribs, but to keep the chest open uh, with the ribs inside and uh, to think of this idea of embracing uh, the partner as well with your back, right? So think of the shoulder blades and uh, the muscles under the shoulder blades like you'd like to put this, your shoulder blades, your, your upper part of the back in the palm of the partner, right? Always being present there. And good, and, and on the line of the hips, right? It, they come. Uh, so think of this thing, think of always, of course, of the center, of the stretch, of the belly muscles engaged, and hips on the line of the ankles and hips and so on. And try all these possibilities and feel the difference. Uh, thank you so much for the class. I hope you and I wish you to uh, stay healthy and stay safe and stay well. Enjoy uh, this time uh, for yourselves. Uh, and we see you tomorrow at 7.30. We will have a group class as well with uh, Angela and Angela with Giovanni and Giovanni will have leaders technique uh, later uh, in the night. So uh, I wish you a beautiful evening and uh, subscribe our channel on YouTube please, uh, Quarto Tosso channel and find all these uh, uh, videos on Facebook and on uh, YouTube and enjoy them at home. Besos y abrazos. Thank you so much. Thank you.